Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to use the simplex method to solve a standard minimization problem. Unlike the one we did in the previous example, here this is really a standard minimization problem. And in order to do that, we have to use what we call the dual problem. Let me explain. First of all, how do we know it's a standard minimization problem? Well, for one thing, we're given a cost equation and we're asked to minimize the cost. Secondly, Notice the inequality symbols. They all say greater than or equal to, all three of them. Those are the hallmarks of a minimization problem. The rules are as follows. First of all, we have to have an objective function that is being minimized, and here we are indeed taking the cost equation, the objective function, and we're supposed to minimize that cost. Secondly, all the variables are non-negative. These are all positive variables. So there's a positive quantity of each of the variables. And thirdly, we use nothing but greater than or equal to constraints. So those are the indicators that this is indeed a standard minimization problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to, in this example, show you how to convert from a standard minimization problem to a standard maximization problem. And on the next video, we'll actually go ahead and, and solve that problem. There's just too much to do to fit it all on one board, so I'll go ahead and do it over two different videos. So first of all, we're going to write down the primal problem. So we write down the x and y variables of the three constraints and then put the constants on the right side of the equation there. So here we end up with 40 and 10 and the, and the constant is 2400. Here we have 10 and 15 and this is 2100. Here we have 5 and 15 and 1500. So these are the what we call the constrained inequalities which we write the constant the the, ver the coefficients for x and y down and the constants and then over here we're going to write down the what we call the um, constrained equation so for x we have 6 for, and for uh, y we have 8 so there we're going to transpose this into a different simplex tableau so to come up with a dual problem so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to transpose it like this so the columns become rows so instead of having these columns right here, we have this row right here, and we have three new, new variables. Noted for each equation, we're going to need a variable. If we had four equations here, or four inequalities, we would need four uh, variables there. So here we have 40, 10, 5, and the constant 6. Here we have 10, 15, 15, and 8, and here we have 2400, 2100, 1500, and then nothing here. So the next step is in order to obtain a standard maximization problem, the dual problem that we can then solve in order to solve for the minimization problem, we now need to come up with the what we call the constraint inequalities, and we need to come up with the objective function associated with the dual problem. And so what we do is we take these new variables, and so we write them as follows. Here we have a new inequality. We have 40u plus 10v plus 5w. And since we know that we're going to take a minimization problem and turn it into a maximization problem, now we need to have the proper inequality symbols. So less than or equal to 6. For the second inequality, we get 10u plus 15v plus 15w is less than or equal to 8. And now instead of writing a cost equation, we're going to write the equivalent profit equation, but we're going to use these numbers right here. So we're going to write 2,000, or better yet, the profit is equal to 2,400 u plus 2,100 v plus 1,500 W. And then we're going to turn that into our new standard maximization problem because if you ended up with something like this, you say, oh, that's an obvious maximization problem. One, all the numbers are positive. Two, I have a profit function that I'm trying to maximize because you're trying to maximize the profit here in order to minimize the cost. And thirdly, we have the inequality symbols, which are less than or equal to, again, indicators that this is now my dual problem, which is a maximization problem. Now, of course, to turn these into equations, I need two slack variables. So I'm going to write this as 40u plus 10v plus 5w plus slack variable number one 
equals 6. And here I write 10u plus 15v plus 15w plus a second slag variable, and that equals 8. And then my profit function, I can then move everything over to one side and write minus 2400u minus 2100v minus 1500w plus profit equals zero. And that then becomes the simplex tableau for my, my what we call dual problem, which is now a standard maximization problem. So when I write that in here, I go ahead and write 40, 10, 5, slag variable 1, 0, 0 for profit, and then here we have 6. My second row becomes 10, 15, 15, 0, 1, 0, and 8. And then my third row becomes minus 2400, minus 2100, minus 1500, 0, 0, 1, and 0. And now I'm ready to go. If I solve this standard, standard maximization problem, then I will find the solution to my initial minimization problem. One more thing. Where will I find the answers to my problem? Well, it turns out that this is the variable u, v, and w. And here are my two slag variables, s1 and s2. It turns out that here will be the solution to my x, y variables of my minimization problem. So whatever these numbers end up being, those will be the solution to my initial minimization problem. The number right here that I end up with the maximum profit will then be my equivalent minimum cost. So the minimum cost I'm looking for will be found here. The solution for my two variables that I'm looking for, x and y, will be found right there when I solve my standard maximization problem. The technique will be virtually the same as we saw in the maximization problems. So in the next video, we're going to show you then how to solve this, and then we'll fold that back to the solution of our initial problem that we have there. But you can see that obviously I don't have any board space, so I'll go ahead and erase most of that, put that back up here, we'll solve that problem, and then you'll see how the solution of this will eventually be the solution to my initial minimization problem. And that's how it's done, and that's how we come up with the dual problem in order to solve minimization problems using the simplex method. And that's how it's done.